Well, I have some very interesting news about predictions, and I'm going to use the predictions from Nostradamus, Dolores Cannon's information, she was not a channel, and Edgar Casey. three of the predictions I'm going to use to share with you, because I did some research, and I want you to know this valuable, extremely valuable information. Let's get ready right now. Welcome to Landria on God on YouTube, here to help you break through the fears and live an awesome life. Everything that's happening right now that feels bad is just fear. Why would anybody feel bad? Because there's a thought or a belief that they aren't okay and that things won't be okay. Most of the time, it's about the future. This is critical. I did some research, not that I didn't already know this stuff, but I wanted to go back and really confirm what I was thinking. And the fact is, I looked up Nostradamus, who has been very accurate in many of his predictions, but not all of them. I looked up Edgar Cayce, who's been very accurate in thousands of predictions, but not all of them. And I also listened to some videos with Dolores Cannon, one of my favorites, who was not a channeler, but received information through those who she hypnotized from sources on the other side, higher beings, a collective, higher consciousness. Now, I'm always leery of that because I think channelers have their own personality and energy that goes into this, but that's not what was happening with any of these people except for one thing. All of us are always accessing the higher self. All of us are a part of that. We've never lost touch. It's not something you have to go to. It's something that you are here as a human being. You are that higher energy. The reason why we don't feel like it is because we chose to come into a dense experience in dense bodies which lowers our frequency automatically and in a collective that is lower frequency. So when you come in it's like visiting, right? You can visit uh, different islands and one might be, you know, poverty or violent or whatever. You go to an island that's serene and wonderful. That's what we did. We chose to come into a space where our environment is a lower frequency and things going on here are not very pleasant. So we actually are participating in that. We can't avoid it. And from an energetic level, that's exactly what's happening for all of us. This is why we struggle. So we go into fear because we believe what we're seeing and we believe that we don't have control over it. So we feel helpless. I want to share this with you because this, these predictions are critical for all of us right now. This is a turning point and I've shared with you before when I predicted and I have had many uh, predictive dreams right down to details of you know the plane crashes, what they look like, how many people died. I've had quite a few of those and I want to share some of my own with you because all of these predictions are coming from the fact that time doesn't exist. We all have access to past present, future, because it's all just one thing happening. Not at the same time. It's all out there. Everything's a probability existing, whether it's already been played out or not. It all exists. You're only shifting into a probability. By the way, this is not my stuff. This it actually comes from all kinds of scientific people, including Greg Braden. Everything's a probability. What Nostradamus Edgar Casey and Dolores Cannon all said numerous times is the reason why they cannot be accurate in their predictions or that some of them don't come true is because we as a collective have chosen a different probability. Everybody who's ever predicted anything has stated that who is legitimate at all, in other words, the real deal, people that are really accessing higher powers, and I mean higher frequencies. If you hear gloom and doom, run. Now it's not that Edgar Casey and some of these guys didn't predict some really nasty stuff, but they did it as a warning to us of the probability that was most dominant at that time. So when they saw something, 
they would share that this was the most dominant probability based on the frequency of the planet at that time. All right, so they would see that probability. That was the direction we were going in. When we change our frequency and how we act with each other and when we stop acting like morons and judging each other and saying nasty stuff to one another, this has to stop. It's a lower frequency. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt anybody but you, and you are everybody. So you lower all of our frequency, so it affects us, but we still have individual choice. Now, here's the other thing that I looked up. The individual frequency and reality within the one prediction, the one probability, can also be changed. I want you to be very cognizant of this. I, I say this all the time, and I looked it up and I thought this was a direct message from numerous credible sources who have predicted some major stuff. All right? What you need to understand right now, need, we don't usually use the N word on my channel, need. What you need to understand is that you are in full control of your own reality. So somebody said to me, lady, what planet do you live on? Not yours, I'll tell you that, if you're negative, because that's not my reality. I'm shifting into an another dimension, another reality, where you might be in it, but you and I will not be super entangled. We share, we share the experience here on Earth, but your reality can be shifted and changed individually. Even though stuff's going on, and I'm going to tell you what, the reason why you're still going to participate in some of the challenges that are going on out here is because you chose it. So it's not like all of a sudden I don't have to go through the challenges. You chose that in this role, so you're still going to experience it. But how you experience it is what is going to shift your entire reality. So I'm seeing unbelievable opportunities right now for us to shift into a new earth, for us to use this to raise our frequency and prove that we can eradicate anything, including this virus, that we can take it out. But we have to function as a unit, as one collective on the planet. The people, the, the energies that agreed to experience this planet, planetary experience, we all agreed, we all know each other, we all agreed to be here at this time and to use the challenges to shift into something higher. This is the biggest challenge, is to come into density and shift into your higher frequency. Every single one of us are here to do that, all of us. So your individual challenge may be different. Maybe you have not mastered forgiveness. Maybe you have not mastered uh, you know, self-love, or you know, you're judging other people. Maybe you're criticizing other people. You better get your shit together. All right, I may have to block that out. It's time, you don't have any more time, right? We don't have any more time, not linear time on the planet. Time is eternal, it doesn't even exist. Everything's happening right now, but we know what we're experiencing at this moment, and we chose it. We are experiencing this by choice. We have linear time here so that, you know, we can experience whatever within our time period here as human beings, but I'm telling you right now, everything is flexible. Now, Dolores Cannon accessed higher beings. It was a collective who would come in and give her stuff. You cannot make this stuff up. They actually dictated books to her. So those books that she wrote were coming from another source. And by the way, it was always good. And she refused to go into that negative space. And people will say, that's unrealistic. Really? Maybe not for you. So do not impose your own negative uh, perception of what's going on here on other people. Keep it to yourself because they're allowed to choose theirs. And if they see the world differently, that's their reality. Wouldn't you like to feel that instead of, oh, uh, <laughs> ah, ah, here's the news, ah. Bunch of fake crap out there. Come on. How many things how many things have you shared on Facebook? Oh, here's an announcement about Advil or Tylenol. What a load of garbage. Are we still fought? Were we still falling for this stuff? It's ridiculous. We're still falling for it. Oh, here's something. No one, I I saw this one come over. Boy, I block everything. I'm like, I don't want your negative stuff. 
No one in Israel has died from it because of their diet. I looked it up. Hell yeah, they're dying over there. It just hasn't hit them as hard yet. And I hope it never does. But it has nothing to do with their diet. So I want you to do your homework. And first of all, I'd like you to just shut it down. So <clears throat> Dolores said that the higher ups, the higher beings, the collective told her that they're all watching, that they don't even know what our final decision is going to be. She said that they can't possibly give her any kind of predictions because they said it's 100% in our hands and that we can change it at any moment. Now, Edgar Casey said this. He said there's nothing he says that cannot be changed and that he gives predictions based on the collective energy he sees at the moment and that it can be changed. And by the way, his predictions uh, with the second coming of Christ and what's happening uh, with the planet have not come true. And he gave a pretty big uh, time. It's like he's 20 years off, 20 or 30 years off, which means maybe it's not going to happen. Now you can say, okay, volcanoes and the water, you know, that's going to be rising because our poles are, you know, uh, melting. It's possible it could happen, but why is that happening? We as a collective can also affect the planet and how she reacts and what we're doing to the planet. Now, here's what's happening with this illness. Look at what's being restored. The pollution, boom. Look at how quickly that shifted. There's no smog in L.A. What does that tell you? We don't have to live like that. And who's benefiting? Um, the na nature, animals. Millions of animals right now are being spared. We have to stop all this other stuff. We are a globe now. We are not countries anymore. We are all human beings. That's it. So we must not tolerate anymore any abuses of any kind to each other, to animals, to plants, to anything. So start switching over to that because that's part of the frequency raising because we can change everything that's ever been predicted. Now, Dolores said, we individually can change. Greg Braden said, you can change your individual reality. You can choose to experience a golden era while other people will experience total destruction because there's endless probabilities out there, right? So right now, so I teach in my prosperity teachings. You guys, if you've gone down uh, below my prosperity teachings, I help you shift that mindset because I want to get you out of what you're living now that doesn't work. Because I want to shift you to a different reality. As soon as you shift your mindset and your beliefs, you shift into a new reality and you can be prosperous. You can take advantage of challenges to do good things for yourself and others. Right? It's pretty cool. So I have had many predictions that I've written down in advance that did come true, all right? So I purposely write them down because you go, hey, I, I had that dream. They're like, yeah, let's prove it, right? And some were like freaky off the charts. Uh, what I used to have that I don't have anymore are dreams of um, floods. I used to have a lot of dreams of floods. A lot, a lot. Like whole streets were underwater and whole cities were flooded and being evacuated. And this was pretty predominant. But, um, but let me share something with you. They've stopped. I haven't had a flood dream in quite a while. So we shifted somewhere. We shifted somewhere. And actually that's ironically, I looked back at the dates last night of when Casey was predicting that. And it was right around the same time that this was supposed to happen that my, my dreams stopped. So we must have shifted in higher frequency. Now, all of them said something that was really amazing. Edgar Casey, in particular said that the planetary frequency determines all of this and that we are shifting into a spiritual dimension and that we are going to go into a golden era. And now there's going to be changes happening, which are happening right now. This is exciting stuff pushing us to make change because we weren't going to make we weren't going to make any changes hey if they're dying over in china and it doesn't affect in, us in the united states it's just something on the news oh no it's here now it's our problem too now all of a sudden it's a different story and this is what's happening it's creating us it's causing us to think 
and know that we're global, that we're one species, and that that problem over there is ours, and that how they treat their animals is a problem for all of us. Not something that we look and say, oh, that's bad that they do that. We're not doing it here. Well, we are doing it here. All of us have got to step up our game. So Edgar Cayce said, through individual raising your frequency, going into a spiritual space, you change your own reality, you shift into something different, into a different probability, and that the planet, if we all go into that space, the more people that do, the more the entire planet is affected. So your individual reality will change. And all the stuff that's nasty out there will actually change also with the collective. Because we're working together. You have concentrations of energy, that's all. But there's no, there's no dividing line between that. Right? So if you're a concentration of energy, you and I are still entangled. We get super entangled when we look at each other and we raise our frequency, and now we're all going into that space. But those who stay here will remain in the space that they collectively choose to be in. Negativity, you know, lady, what planet do you live on? We're all dying, 5G, 6G, 7G, whatever it is. You're so powerful that none of that can affect you if you choose. And you know what? This story does have an ending as a human being. We transition constantly. We don't ever die. There will be a point when people just leave the planet. We always, how did they die? Uh, hello, McFly, we're all going to die. They just chose to leave at that time. We talked about Jerry and Esther. Jer they can't be spiritual because Jerry died. No, Jerry left. And, and by the way, it shifted Esther into uh, living a different kind of life. But he's not gone. He just decided to exit whenever he did. He probably, he didn't really want to, but you know what? He agreed to do that probably in advance. So let's not question that. Make a big damn deal out of it, all right? Have total acceptance and know that there's a reason why we've all chosen things, why some people get sick and leave, or whatever. We learn from things, but here's the deal. You are totally in control of the planetary direction your own individual one. You are not a victim of what's going on out there. You personally can shift, and that was the, the most exciting news was, I came to be here on the collective and nasty stuff. What if the collective doesn't pull out and I'm in a high frequency? Then you will go into that high frequency, beautiful life, and opportunities are gonna to come to you. If you guys want to take Breakthrough Fear, it's down here. Breakthrough Fear, one year access. It's a five star course. Everybody's giving me five stars. I give you access. It's a six week course. I give you access for one year and $100 off. Would you spend 20 bucks a month to go through this intense course where I take you personally through what is your issue? And you go through it, it's over 120 recordings, meditations, audios, videos. So if you're interested, go in and use the code Inspiration with Landria. It's down there. It's a hundred bucks off. It ends up to be less than $20 a month for you to take this course to get out of that fear. We want you to shift out of the fear. And so you have to ask yourself, where is it coming from? And that course actually takes you in that spot. It's like, we're not going to analyze you, but we are going to say, where's it coming from? Why do I have it? And how do I move past it? Break through it. It's going to be there. How do I deal with it when it comes in? And then you will shift your own individual reality. And we all benefit from that. And your life will change. I have more. You guys can go in and see the stories. They're astronomical. I, I've got like maybe 1% of the stories that have come over are actually posted on my site. People telling me they've completely changed their lives completely and that now they're going into this challenge and they're not afraid that they deal with it differently and that all of a sudden they're seeing their lives as opportunities to shift out of what we've been doing that is not working this is bad well yeah okay but guess what what we were doing was worse right it was worse because the people that were dying and the animals and that were dying far surpassed what this virus is doing and so people are being spared and animals being spared and the planet's being spared right now. That was killing us. 
So I know this is a long video, but I thought this was really great news. I, like I said, I read a lot on the predictions that were going on, it's supposed to be going on right now, and and the each one of them said the same thing. I only predicting as a warning of what is coming if you don't shift into the higher frequency. Everything is flexible. You have total, oh, by the way, here's the other thing they all mentioned. They said it's because we all have free will. So don't ever tell me this is this and this is that and they're doing that. You have free will through all of it. For you. Well, what if somebody's doing something to me? Nope, sorry, talk to the hand, let them do it. Nobody makes you feel bad. Nobody makes you sick. Nobody makes you anything. You don't even have to listen to that, and you don't have to believe it. All right? And you agreed it to raise your frequency in the collective. So do your job. No more blame. That is powerlessness, and that's so not what you are. So go down. Come join me for my courses. I'm ramping it up big time. I kept the... the uh, the code, the coupon going, and I've got it on. All, all of my teachings have some kind of a code. The Prosperity Challenge, uh, that is one year. It's a three hour master class and one year mastermind, private group, one year for $59.95. And I have a code for 10% off. By the way, all that you missed it, I hit it for 30 bucks. Oopsie, guess what? You know what? I have to pay for these platforms. Sorry about that. It keeps me going and it keeps me pumping amazing stuff out to you because I want to help you shift out, help you shift, 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 up, up. Your whole life can change right now. I promise you that. That's a fact. That's quantum physics. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Oh, by the way, I have another offer. If you click here, this is not just a free workshop. When you get the first workshop, you're going to get an opportunity in the thank you page and the first workshop, a one-hour free webinar on how to make your first 10000 online, but it's not about that. There is an offer for 90% off of the membership training on how to create online businesses, and this is extensive training. This is no woo-woo stuff, so be prepared. This isn't make money online, get rich crap. We're done with that garbage. If you click here and you go into that, look for the make your first 10k online in other words there is a formula to that real businesses real training 90 percent off it comes down to a hundred bucks a hundred dollars to join and get all this training that cost a thousand dollars you want to go into it what are you waiting for what are you holding back for what is it you're waiting for somebody knock on the door oh they can't oh oops can't knock on the door and give you the tell you you won the lottery because they can't get that close to you <laughs> Go into prosperity thinking not let, lack is, you should give this free and I need this. and I, That's lack mentality. I say I have everything. I have abundance. And guess what? Everything flows to me. I just won the lottery again, by the way. I probably shouldn't tell you that because I don't play the lottery make it, hoping it's going to fix me. I play it for fun because it's just sort of cool to play with manifesting, right? You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Subscribe, share these, raise your frequency. Let's get busy. Namaste.